In next 5 minutes, I will show you how to reduce the process count in Windows 11 using 5 simple steps to drastically boost the performance of your PC or your laptop. Now before moving, let me show you that if I bring up the task manager as of now and if I click on the performance here, so you can see the process count as of now is around 132, the thread is around 1600 and handle count is around 52,000. So this is exactly what we will be reducing. So now let me close it and let's move with the optimization here. First, you need to click on your Windows search, type registry, click on registry editor from the suggestion, click on yes. Here from the left in menu option, you have to click on HK local machine. Then you have to look for system, double click on it. Then look for current control set, make a double click on it. Then look for control, double click on it. And in the control on the right hand side, you will find an entry here by the name SVC host split threshold in KB. You have to look for this value. Once you get it, make a double click on it. So now here you can see the value that you have to enter here in the box depending on the RAM you're using. All right, so it's given for 4 gigabytes, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, 36, 64. Now I'm using only 4 gigabyte of RAM here. So for 4 gigabyte, I have to enter 4, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0. Make sure you don't make any mistake here. Once you're done, now you have to click on OK and then you can close it. Next, click on your Windows search, type services. From the suggestion, click on services. And here we have to disable some services that are really not required. Probably you are not using it. They are still running it. And disabling these unwanted services can surely improve the performance by decreasing the process, the thread and the handle count. So the very first one that I would recommend you is the connection user experience telemetry. So come to the C section and somewhere you will find connected user experience and telemetry. Make a double click on it. Choose the startup type to disable. Click on stop. Click on apply and click on OK. Then you can also disable the crypto graphic services. Make a double click on it. And if you want to read more about it, you can read here. All the detail has been given. Stop the service. Click on apply, click on OK. Next, you have to look for download maps manager. Here it is. Make a double click on it. Again, from the startup type, choose it to disable. Make sure it's been installed. Click on apply and click on OK. Then again, you can scroll down a bit. And if you don't want to use any specific services like geolocation, then you can also make a double click on it and disable them. Next is Windows Insider Services. So come to the W section and look for Windows Insider Service. Here it is. Make a double click on it. Choose it to disable. Click on apply. Click on OK. Then you have to look for Windows search. Now this I personally recommend you to disable it because I have seen people not using the Windows search most of the time and even it's not working properly. And if you bring up the task manager, you will find that it occupy a lot of resources. So somewhere you will find Windows search or search here. You can see this and it's occupying a lot of memory consumption. And that is the reason I recommend you double click on it and disable it. Click on apply and click on OK. Next is the BitLocker. So if you don't use the BitLocker service to encrypt your device or drive, then you can go ahead and disable the BitLocker as well. Now for this, I have created a detailed video that what all the services you can disable. I will leave the link in the description. You can watch that video in order to disable all kinds of services. All right. Once you are done, now you can go ahead and close it. Next, right click on the Windows icon, click on settings. Now here from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on apps. Click on installed apps. And this will list you all kind of application that you have installed and all kind of system application, including the bloatware. Now, once you install the Windows 11, these all application, these all bloatware get installed automatically. Now, there are many bloatware that you can manually uninstall. So if you don't want to use any third party application, Come to this page, Copilot if you don't want to use it. Click on the three dot on the right of it and click uninstall. Feedback Hub, just go ahead and uninstall it. Then you have the Microsoft Clip Jam. I don't want to use it, so I will go ahead and uninstall it. Microsoft Bing Search, I don't want to use it. I will uninstall it. Microsoft News, yes, I will go ahead and uninstall it. All right, so go ahead and uninstall all these kind of applications that you don't want to use and you don't want to keep on your computer. Once you are done, then from the left hand menu option only, you will have to click on privacy and security. And here you have to disable all these unwanted permission. So under Windows permission, click on general and disable all these options here. Again, go back. 
do the same with the speech if it's been enabled then diagnostic and feedback inking and typing personalization go ahead and disable them search permission click on it and disable the microsoft account and work on a school account do the same with the app permission if you don't want to use the location camera uh, notification then go ahead and disable them there are many things that probably majority of the people not might not be using it like radios it doesn't make sense to keep it enabled so go ahead and disable them and once you are done now you can close it and we are only remaining with the final step here so click on your windows search type sysdm.cpl and hit the enter key here from the top menu option click on advanced under performance click on settings it should be selected to let windows choose what best choose the third option here adjust for best performance enable the option here animate windows when minimizing and maximizing show thumbnail instead of icons and a smooth edges of a screen font then click apply and click on ok all right so now we are all done let's go ahead and restart the computer and see what kind of difference it has made all right so the computer has been restarted now let's bring up the task manager again and boom so now you can see the process that was earlier around 132 now it's been reduced to around 195 and it's a really a big difference so the lower will be the process the lower load will be on your cpu and your on your memory so hopefully guys you can see the difference now and this will be surely improving the performance even if you do any kind of work you do gaming or whatever you enjoy on your pc or your laptop so that's all guys for today and hopefully uh, this will be working for you and if yes make sure you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye